everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Tuesday the 26th of October. We begin our time together with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we thank you for the awesomeness of your love and for the wonder of your grace. Day after day, you show us mercy, accepting our feeble faith and hesitant discipleship understanding our weaknesses, putting our faults behind us, and helping us to start again. However much we fail you, your patience is never exhausted. Your love refuses to be denied. We deserve so little, and yet you give us so much. Our love is so weak, and yet you respond so richly. Our faith is often too small, and yet you bless us so constantly. Gracious God, if you dealt with us according to our deserving, we could not hope to escape punishment, for we have failed you in ways too many to even number. But your grace is greater than we can begin to imagine. For your love that embraces all and continues for all eternity, we praise you in the name of Christ. Amen. Mark chapter 3 Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting round him, and they told him, Your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my mother and my brothers? he asked. Then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. God's Spirit is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. This is what I to do what I have to do. He sent me to give the good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can see and set the downtrodden free. And go Just as the Father sent me, so I'm sending you out to be my witness throughout the world, the whole of the world. He sent me to give the good news to the poor, tell prisoners. Say
Don't worry what you have to say. Don't worry because on that day, God's Spirit will speak in your heart. Will speak. Psalm 25 In you, Lord, my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord, Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Saviour, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who, then, are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity, and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only He will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me, and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart, and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress, and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies, and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, from all their troubles. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Sovereign God, if you treated us as we deserve, none could stand before you. But you are a God of infinite mercy, full of love and of goodness. You came to our world in Christ and you died for us while we were yet sinners. You reached out through him to those who knew themselves to be unworthy, deserving of punishment, and yet through your grace, you brought acceptance, wholeness, and renewal. So now we open our lives to your generous pardon, your unfailing love, and your undeserved blessing. Receive our praise for all you so freely and wonderfully give in Christ. For we pray, for his name's sake. Amen.